Good day, everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello, everyone. We have our new topic in Science 7, which is all about comparing plant and animal cell. This will be the second quarter topic and week 4. This topic is a milk-based. For the most essential learning competencies after going through this lesson, you are expected to differentiate plant and animal cells according to presence or the absence of organelles. Specifically, you are also expected to construct a Venn diagram that shows similarities and differences between plant and animal cells. Most cells have everything they need to carry out the basic life functions. Although all living things are made up of cells, all cells are not the same. Cells with different shape and sizes have different rules. Shapes and sizes are related to the functions of the cell. The basic differences between most plant and animal cells are their covering, color, and their shape. In this lesson, you will learn more about the features of plant cells and animal cells, how do they differ, why can plants make their own food but animals cannot. This lesson will help you find the answers to this question as it discusses the differences between plants and animal cells. So before we are going to proceed to our proper discussion, let's have an activity first. So for the first activity, it is called, Who Am I? For the directions, all you have to do is to read each riddle below and identify what organelle is being described and write the name of the structure. Plant and animal cells are eukaryotic, which means they contain membrane-bound organelles like the nucleus and the mitochondria. However, plant cells and animal cells do not look exactly the same or have all the same organelles, since each of them have different needs. For example, plant cells contain chloroplasts since they need to perform photosynthesis, but animal cells do not. So, how are a plant cell and an animal cell similar or different? Why do plants and animals have differences? 
plant and animal cells differ because they have to perform different functions. Both animal and plant cells have mitochondria, but only plant cells have chloroplast. Plants don't get their sugar from eating food, so they need to make sugar with the help of sunlight. This process, which is known as photosynthesis, takes place in the chloroplast. Once the sugar is made, it is then broken down by the mitochondria to make energy for the cell. Because animals get sugar from the food they eat, they do not need chloroplast, just a mitochondria. Both plant and animal cells have vacuoles. A plant cell contains a large, singular vacuole that is used for storage and maintaining the shape of the cell. In contrast, animal cells have many and smaller vacuoles. Plant cells have a cell wall and a plasma membrane. In plants, the cell wall surrounds the plasma membrane. This gives the plant cell its box-like shape. This also allows the plants to remain strong and stand upright even if it grows to great heights. Animal cells simply have a plasma membrane but no cell wall. 